Hey everyone, this is the Loose Cannon, David McBee, and we are doing a little bit of bonus coverage tonight. This was scheduled to be a double header, but I had two very persuasive uh, parents that talked me into it and said, hey, you need to do the junior high game. Since I was already here grilling, we're doing it. Uh, looks like we're going live in about 14 minutes. First game of the night is going to be a junior high boys matchup. Cotter versus Yellville right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We'll be back in a flash.
Awesome. Arkansas Razorbacks. Hey, I know you guys are huge North Central Arkansas basketball fans. And I uh, just wanted to thank you uh, for streaming high school sports for all the local stations in North Central Arkansas. I know you've done over 250 basketball games in the past three years as volunteers. Incredible uh, to volunteer all that time and energy and enthusiasm uh, to help youth sports. You've helped parents, grandparents, um, and just in general, um, especially during these COVID restrictions. So Dave and Joey, awesome work, man. Keep it up.
Hey everyone, this is the Loose Cannon, David McBee, and welcome to tonight's matchup. This should be a good one. This is Cotter versus Yellville. We're doing a little bonus coverage tonight. I had two very persuasive parents that hit me up. I was planning on just doing the senior high games, but with the two parents, uh, I was like, I couldn't say no to them. So a little bit of bonus coverage. I am flying solo for this uh, matchup, and we're getting ready to get started. Junior high ball right here on TLSN. Between two rivals, Cotter and Yellville. And we are off and running here at Cotter Coliseum. Our first visit to Cotter this year here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network as Yellville's going to set up their offense. They got possession first. This is our first time covering them, so it might take a little bit to get the names down. Ball knocked out of bounds. Going to stay with Yellville. They got the opening tip off. It's number 10, Isaiah Jackson that's in the game. Also, he's got, I'm sorry, I got the wrong name. Number 10, <laughs> that's Sutterfield for, for Yellville. And about to inbound it is number two, Layton. He's joined by uh, Spence and Cheek and Wright. Rounds out the starting group for Yellville. There's a shot from the corner. Three-pointer is short. Cotter gets possession, and now they're going back the other way. And now 0-0 first quarter. Hopefully you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me okay out there, if I sound all right. Little dip dive shot is off. There's a rebound by number 33. That's right that pulls it down. And here comes Yellville back the other way. 0-0 here in the opening minutes. Three-point shot from outside. Stop, pop, and it is good by Cheek. And Yellville strikes first. They go up three to nothing. Nice give and go. Bucket is no good. There's a rebound. Put back. Missed the shot. Another rebound. Put back, and it's off, and it's finally tipped out of bounds. That's number 34. That's Guthrie. And number five, Connor Woods. Going to be joined by number 10, Isaiah Jackson, to inbound it. They go inside to Guthrie. Three-pointer from the outside is off the back of the rim. Shot is off. Rebound. Nice ball movement by the Warriors. But then it's knocked out of bounds off the hands of Layton. Going to stay with Cotter. Of course, no shot clock in this game. You see the shot clock out up there, but it's not going to be running here in junior high. That'll be running for a matchup later. Three-pointer from the corner. In and out. Rebound. Here comes Yellville. Back the other way. Foul's going to be on number 10. That's going to be on Jackson. That's going to be his first. First foul of the game. Here in the opening minutes of a little bit of bonus coverage. We're just getting our vocal cords ready, so it's going to be a slobber knocker of matchups tonight here on TLSN. Swinging around. There's Cheek again open. Shot is off. Good rebound. And they throw it ahead for Guthrie. And Guthrie is fouled on the play. So Jackson to inbound it for the Warriors. Looks like Dahl Walmer's joining us online. How's it going, Dahl? Actually, Dahl, it was your daughter, Cindy Sutterfield, who, who said, hey, you need to film this game, so... She's the one that didn't give me a choice. Did not get want to get the wrath of Cindy Sutterfield. Actually, it was two parents. It was Cindy Sutterfield and then uh, Nikki Guthrie over at Cotter. They they talked me into doing this bonus coverage here. So Spence, or Leighton, I'm sorry, setting up on the outside. He's got Sutterfield on the outside with him, number 10. Sutterfield swings it to the corner. Three-pointer is up off the side of the rim. Looks like it's going to be an offensive foul. It's going to be on number 33, Wright. That's going to be his first. Second on the team. Both teams with two fouls here in the opening quarter. First quarter here on TLSN. Pass is stolen. Layton stops, shoots. Bucket is good. And Yellville now extends it to five to nothing. And it's stolen. Yellville putting some pressure defense here 
in the opening minutes. And we're glad to have you guys bringing us into your home. Little bonus junior high coverage here. Swing around. There's Layton in the corner. Shot is long. Cheek skies for the board. Misses the putback. Loose ball. Going to be a lot of contact. They're going to call a foul on that one. It's going to be on number 22. That's on Milton. As number two, Bryson Pine checks in. For number three, that's Cody Gray. They lob it into Cheek. Cheek loses the handle, but they say he is fouled while attempting the shot, so it's going to be a foul. So Cheek going to go to the line. Looks like the foul is on Bryson Pine. That's going to be his first. Already four fouls on the Warriors. First free throw by Cheek is up and good. Second attempt coming. No good. And Sutterfield. Driven by Cheek, putting some pressure on the Warriors, making them work to get down the court. There's a little runner. Bounces around, shot in and out. Three-point shot from Stephen Curry range is off. Got three skies for the board. There's a three-pointer. Again, both teams shooting a lot of threes here early. It's like timeout on the floor. Coach Jackson Reigns, he wants to talk it over for a second. 2.24 left here in the first quarter. A little bit of bonus coverage here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We'll be back in a flash right here on TLSN. It is really important to do business with people that are local. One of the things that we did upon acquiring all the stores was we tried to hold on to everybody that was already working here. You can't replace experience. We build relationships, we don't build the cars. The same customers that are buying from us today were buying from us five years ago and 10 years ago, and those are the same customers. Taxi there. As we're back to action quickly, there's a rebound by Wright. Ball is knocked out of bounds, or they're going to be a foul. Looks like they're going to call that on number 10. It's going to be on Jackson. Already five fouls for, for the Warriors. Warriors still looking for their first bucket of the game. XL7 Sports, they say they're on their way. They're helping us out tonight. Uh, Bob Rechtenwald. Uh, he's going to be the man with the plan in a little bit. Doing the play-by-play -play for us. There's Cheek's first free throw off the front of the rim. No good. So Jackson with two. Five fouls on the team, so two free throws here. As Yellville up six to nothing, looking for another point. And they hit one of two. Seven to nothing. Again, pressure being put on. So Cotter's going to lose the ball out of bounds. Again, good defense being played by this Yellville Summit Panther junior squad. As Cheek takes it down to the corner, he is fouled. So you're going to call that on 34. That's going to be on Guthrie. That's going to be his first. Still a long way to go in this one, sports fans. And our uh, bonus coverage right here tonight is Cheek hits the first one. Extends it now. It's eight to nothing. Is Cotter just looking like they're trying to get something going offensively? Looks 
Looks like they call that on 10. That's on Sutterfield. I'm glad to have Dawn Walmer joining us online. She's always a lot of fun. Looks like they call that on Sutterfield again, so he gets back-to-back -back fouls. We got Carolyn A.V. She's joining us online. Remember, guys, this is an interactive broadcast. Let us know who you're cheering for. Guthrie's got it. Stops, pops, shot off the back of the rim. Good look there by Guthrie and just unable to hit the shot. Cotter's had some good looks, just kind of struggling from the field. Nice slice, dice, and the bucket is good. Cotter's on the board. It's eight to two. That was Milton with the beautiful drive and finish. Guthrie gets the steal, throws it ahead. Good hustle by number two, Layton, coming from behind, knocks it out of bounds. And with 57.5 seconds left, it's eight to two. Nice drive, but good defensive play there by Yelville. They turn that into a difficult shot. Here comes Cheek. With the left hand and the kiss off the backboard. Nice little finger roll. Bucket is good. Looks like they're going to call the foul on Guthrie. That's his second. Seventh on the team. Cheek right now trying to finish the old-fashioned three-point play. He leaves it short. Cotter gets the board. A triple header of coverage tonight. There's Guthrie with the drive. Shot is long. Got her trying to put some pressure. And it's going to be a travel on Layton. Going to give it back to Cotter. With 19.1 seconds to go, that's number 13, Slater, who checks in for Guthrie. And now foul trouble here in the first quarter. Almost stolen, 10 seconds left on the clock. Cotter's gonna have to move to get a shot off. Nice hard drive to the inside, a good defensive play there by Yelville. They're unable to get it, uh, the shot off, but a big first quarter for the Yelville Summit Panthers at the end of one. It is 10 to two right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. All right, everyone, welcome back. Second quarter, it's a good first quarter for Yellville Summit. They jump out 10 to two here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Our first of three games tonight here on TLSN. Of course, this is a loose cannon, David McBee. Joey the Dealmaker Shaw is out of town. He will not be here tonight, so it'll be I'll be going solo for this game. I'll be joined by Bob Rechtenwald for XF7 Sports. He's going to be helping to cover the play-by-play. -play, and they're looking to go coast to coast. His number 11, Spence, he put the Jets on that one and is fouled on the play. 
course, those watching online, this is an interactive broadcast. See, we've got Dahl Walmer said, thank you from all us Nanas. Thank you, LaDonna Mendeleski, for sharing the uh, post. First free throw by Spence is good. That's 11 to 2. So, yeah, I appreciate the uh, shout-outs. And let us know, let's know if you're a Panther fan or a Warrior fan. And this is our first game of the year over here at Cotter Coliseum. First of many we'll be doing here on TLSN. Shot from the free throw line is off. Loose ball. It's being knocked around. Cotter comes away with it. The little runner off the back room. Cotter's had some good looks, just struggling from the field here in the first quarter. And good defense being played by the Yellville Summit Panthers. But we got a long one to go here on TLSN. We appreciate all you guys bringing us into your home. Spence over to Cheek. Cheek had a big first quarter for Yellville. Nice little up and under move there by Moreau. Bucket is good. And now back to a 12-point lead for Yellville. Three-point shot from the top is off. Battling for the board. It's out of bounds. It's going to go back to Yellville. So, yeah, quick survey, guys. For those people watching online, who are you going for, the Warriors or the Panthers? We'd love to see your comments. Looks like online we got Michelle Faso saying, Go Warriors. Karen Welch says, good job, Trevin Spence. Go Panthers. So, guys, keep those comments a rolling. Shot is short. And here come the Warriors back the other way. Pass up and under. Shot no good. Loose ball on the floor, battling for it. We got Bev, Bob Rechtenwall getting ready to join us. We'll have professional commentary now. Business about to pick up. And Bob, I was telling him I wasn't planning on doing this game. I had two moms. I'm grilling. I was grilling for Arvest Bank out front. So that's why I was here early. And I had uh, Nikki Guthrie, who coaches the volleyball team, and uh, Cindy Sutterfield, their son's on there. They, 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 wouldn't, they wouldn't take no for an answer. They're like, you're doing this game. So... So this is a bo little bonus coverage here. Bucket is good by Cotter. That pulls it now. It's 14 to 4. And we'll take us just a second. We'll get Bob all set up. So I have a nice little handwritten, really fast roster for you, Bob. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and switch my side. This is one's the lead one, so I'm going to give this one to you. So. You're probably going to adjust it. It's pretty, I have a small head. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you trying to tell me? All right. Test one, two, three. Yeah, there can, we go. Can you hear me okay? I can. All right. Actually, I'm getting a little bit of static. Um, do I sound okay to you? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Might just be my headset ears. I was at Mountain Home. I've got a great nephew. Clint's oldest boy was playing a seventh grade game over there, and I looked at my phone, saw you were live. I told my brother, I said, I got to get out of here. <laughs> Um, you did, this was completely a bonus, a little bonus game right here. So There you go. I, I, yep. I, I didn't figure you'd be able to get here, so I was just going to swing it solo. Yellow got a big lead on this one. Yeah, Yellow looking good early. As I'm going to change this headset out, it's not sounding good. So, so I'm going to. Three point shot up for the Warriors for number three. Cody, is that Gare? Whoa, there goes the water. That was close. 
They, I'll, come. I'm gonna, I'll switch this out. It's not funny, They about dumped the water bottle down there. Huh? They about dumped the water bottle down there. Time out on the floor. It is really important to do business with people that are local. One of the things that we did upon acquiring all the stores was we tried to hold on to everybody that was already working here. You can't replace experience. We build relationships, we don't build the cars. The same customers that are buying from us today were buying from us five years ago and 10 years ago. And those are the same customers that I want to take care of today in five years and 10 years from now. Shop Clay Maxi Chevrolet in Mountain Home and ClayMaxiChevrolet.com. They're struggling some. Here we go. Fouling number 12 against Yellville. I believe might have been Cheek. Warriors pick it up <coughs> underneath the basket. Gonna be throwing it in as number 10. Isaiah Jackson throws it in for the Warriors. Throws it to number one, Zeltner. 34 with the shot, in and out, no good. Cheek with the basketball. Going to be a jump or a foul? Going to be a foul. Foul on number 10, Isaiah Jackson. Team with a shot in and out. Foul on number 12 for Yellville. That's Cheek. Cheek with a foul. Throws it away to number 14. With the layup, up and good. With the shot is... Can't read your writing. <laughs> Ball's gonna stay with Yellville. Nice little takeaway by number one. Zeltner puts it up for the layup. It goes in for two. 16 to nine in favor of the Panthers. And Yeovil throws it away. 119 left in the first half. It's Yellville 16, Carter Warriors 9. It's going to stay with Yellville. Number two for the Panthers, Layton's going to throw it in. And there's going to be a foul. Foul on number 34 for the Warriors, Logan Guthrie. Number three, Morrow at the line, makes his first one. And he sinks the second one, nothing but net.
Shot up off the back of the rim, no good. Put back, no good. Panther basketball. If I was on Slater. Sends number 33. Boyd? Uh, get, well, no, it's just right. Gilly didn't have a number. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had like 10 seconds, so I was right in that. <laughs> We're good. Right at the line, misses. 45 seconds left in the first half of the ball game. Cotter's trying to get on the board. They're down by 10. Ball taken away by number 13. Slater layup good for two. 13 to 19. They're going to run the clock out right here with the last shot. No good. That's halftime. Yaleville Summit Panthers 19. Cotter Home Warriors 13. We'll be back in just a little bit. Hey guys, this is uh, David McBee on the broadcast. We were having some headset issues, so I'm trying another headset. So I need those people that are watching this game, if you could help me out. Uh, I'm testing this headset out. Let me know how I sound, if we sound okay. Uh, I guess Bob and I, you and I could just talk a little bit. Uh, there we you got go. A, we got a good game, Bob, as, uh, you know, Yobo jumped out to a huge lead. Cotter stormed back in the last minute or two. And uh, now we got ourselves a pretty good one here. When I was listening on the way over, uh, Cotter hadn't scored yet by the time I got in the parking lot. So they've come a long way in just about a quarter. Yeah, they've fought back. Still got a long way to go in this one. This is our first of three games, a uh, triple header of action tonight. We wasn't planning on a triple header, but it just kind of turned into that. So well, it'll, it'll be a good night for some basketball. 
Looks like they've got a pretty good crowd. They always have this kind of crowd here. Yeah, Cotter, Cotter Yellville. Yeah, they have some pretty big crowds here and uh, pretty good rivalry. Of course, they're conference rivals. I'm going to zoom in on uh, that little guy right there. We're going to zoom in. Uh, Lando's, Lando's his name is mom who's sitting right next to him wearing that Cotter shirt there. She was the one that said, basically, you're doing this game. You, it's no choice. You got to do this game. So, yeah. <laughs> and here I'll, you are. Yeah, so I wanted to try to at least get, get her son on screen and uh, say hi to them. So that's the littlest warrior fan that's here today. So The littlest warrior fan in the house. Right. Well, we've got another little one right there. Straight across. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's another little where your fan right, man. Well, there's a bunch of little ones over yeah, there. Little little fans no, all over the place. Look to your left. Oh, to my left. Go to the yellow shirt. My yellow shirt. Right there, up. Now move to your left. Oh yeah. See that little one right that there. That one's so little you can't even see it. Yeah. There he is now. <laughs> Just see the head. So we got our little fan cam going right now. Okay, Glenn says the sound's good, so he says we sound all right. It's just you sound a little funny in my ear, but I guess as long as we're sounding okay, that's that's the main thing. As long as it's good going across, we're in good shape. Yeah, so, so. we appreciate it, guys. If you hear some sound issues, uh, let us know because uh, our headsets are kind of being a little funky tonight. So, Well, I appreciate the opportunity to come over here and be with you this evening and talk a little basketball, learn a little bit from the master. Oh, whatever, David whatever, whatever. But the, hey, I'll tell you what. This has been the site of some great games over the years, and I think we're going to have two good ones in the senior high matchups later tonight. The uh, cotter Yellville girls game, that's a conference matchup, so I think it's going to be a battle, and that senior boys game should be quite a good game as well. Is this their first uh, conference game of the season? I believe so. Well, Don't quote me 100% on uh, that. Yellville played Ozark Mountain. That's in their conference. Uh, I have to actually look at the con now. Now you're asking me too many complicated questions. <laughs> Did you get an opportunity to, to see the uh, recap of the Mountain Home game against Valley View I from saw, Tuesday night? Yeah, I actually got that off of your uh, XL7 Sports page. I, I I missed it. I didn't watch the game, and then all of a sudden I saw you know you had a thing that you shared from Bomber Basketball, and I I saw that, and they're like you know 19 point come from behind victory, and uh, what a crazy game that was. Scored 10 points or better in, in the minute 14 to come back and win that. And, you know, that's a big big boost for Bomber. Been a long time since the Bomber started 8-1, and, and that's where they sit today. Yeah, they're they're off to a good start this season, and uh, you'll be covering some Bomber basketball too. Come conference season, which is right after the ultimate tournament in Mountain Home, uh, XL7 TV, XL7 Sports will be doing uh, – We'll be doing all the conference games. Home and away, I believe, is what we've got scheduled. And we'll be doing that on Facebook, YouTube, and live television. So, Well, that's going to be some great matchups there. And third quarter of this junior high game that uh, Cotter, Cotter, I mean, at one point was down 14 points. Now I've got it back within six. So they're making making a little bit of a run here, and we still got quite a ways to go. So good Nine, one to kick off. 19 to 13 in favor of the visiting Yellville Summit Panthers. Of course, I'm going to have to watch it. You know, I was grilling. I was here with, with Arvest Bank today. We were grilling for their, uh, you know, they were having a little tailgate party outside. So I might, I might be suffering a little bit of food coma because I was doing – I, my job, actually, even though I was supposed to be grilling, I ended up settling into the, uh, you know, making sure all the burgers taste okay. It's quality control is quality what I call control. It. There you go. Yeah, so uh, I have a little bit of food coma coming in a little bit. Ball taken away by number eleven for the Panthers. Puts it up for layup and good for two points. That's number eleven, Spence. Spence almost gets another steal there. Of course, Cheek, uh, number 12, had the big first half for the Yellville Summit uh, Junior Panther squad. They call that foul on number 11, his first foul of the third quarter. Shot off, swinging the ball around. Potter's showing a little more patience on offense here to start the third quarter. 
to kind of settle down after kind of a rocky start. And I spoke too soon on that one as Cotter turns the ball over. It's going to be Panther basketball in front of the scorekeeper's box. They don't give much space for that, do they? No, that's the, that's the cool thing about Cotter Coliseum. This is a tight gym. There's not near as much room down low. Shots up and good by number 11. Spence for the, for the Panthers. Back-to-back oh, -back buckets now has turned it back to a 10-point game. Back to double digits. Nice dish. Puts it up, number 22, Milton. Tell you what, Cotter looked like a waiter on that one. They were dishing it out. Beautiful pass. Sutterfield battling for the board. Here come the Warriors. Good defense there by Cheek, and here comes the Panthers. Foul on number two. That's Brian. No shot clock for Junior High? No, no shot clock. Yeah, it's going to be number three on Prine. So right now, uh, uh, foul trouble for number two. That's number 12 at the line, Cheek. Coming into the ball game for the Warriors is number 10, Isaiah Jackson. Coming out is number two, Prine. Second shot's up, no good off the front of the rim. Rebound, Warriors. Pass almost stolen. Cotter's been a little careless with their passing. Talked to Coach Jared Wilhite earlier. His thing, or Coach Jackson Rain, sorry. His thing was, he's like, we got to try to stay under 15 turnovers. That's kind of the magic number. Three-pointer, bank not open. It's after 5.30, so most banks have closed now since they've gotten away from the extended hours. So the bank's not hoping near for the Warriors either. So <laughs> Foul on Zeltner. That's his second foul. Oh, beautiful passing to Sutterfield. Down number 10, Sutterfield with the basket. Two points. It's a 10-point lead for Yellville. And back to a double-digit lead. 3.08 left here in the third quarter as this place is filling up. It's a packed house. It's Cotter, Yellville right here on TLSN. We got Mr. Local Sports, Bob Reckonwell. Actually, I came up with the nickname. You're the Hammer, right? Was that? No, oh, I I got to remember Three that. point shots good by number five, Woods. Well, Woods hammers that shot, and now it's back to a seven point game. Yeah, Bob the Hammer Rechtenwald here tonight. Three pointer from the corner. It's nothing but net for number 11, Spence. It's a seven point ball game timeout. It's a 10 point ball game timeout on the court. We got 2.34 left here in the third quarter. It's 28-18. Still got a long way to go here in Cotter here on TLSN. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back to action on the floor. 2.34 left here in the third quarter. It's a 10-point game. Cotter and Yelvo right here on TLSN. Jackson bringing it across, passes it off to number one. Jackson back with the basketball. Dumps it off to number five. 
Five putting it up for three. He looks for it. No good. Put back up and good for number 22. Milton. Eight point ball game. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Great job working the glass there by the Warriors. They needed that bucket. Yeah, I believe he walked a little bit. Short trip, didn't get anywhere. Spence travels with the basketball, 155 left in the third quarter. It's an eight point ball game. For those people watching too, like I mentioned earlier, uh, we were having a little bit of headset difficulty. Let me know how the sound is. Just put it in the comments. You, you can be our producer. The deal maker's not here tonight, so you can be our producer online. Say, hey, you guys sound okay, or no. 22 up for the shot, it's good for Milton. Milton having a good thir third quarter here. Brings it within six with 127 left in the third quarter. I'm a little slow. I'm I'm off energy drinks. Again? Yeah, I, I had a little relapse last week with you guys. I'm off tonight. I'm thinking I need one tonight because I'm kind of slow <laughs> on the scoreboard here. I'm struggling just to do the camera and scoreboard. Like, sometimes I do all three. So, it's like I need to. Number five on the rebound. I need to step my game up, man. Shot no good. Rebound, Panthers. Well, Sutterfield not happy with that call. Gonna give it back to Cotter right now. Cotter, got, they were down 12 here in the third. Now they've got it back to six. And now we'll go to the line. Foul on number 11, Spence. That's his second foul. Going to the line is number five, Connor Woods. Okay, everyone online says we still sound good. So it's just mine. You just sound funny in my ear, that's all. Shots no good. You kind of sound like a chipmunk with the way my thing's cutting my out. My gosh. So, yeah. Alvin, I hope. Yeah, yeah, like Alvin. So later we just need to break out and sing, you know. It's Christmas time, so we need to, if we sang the uh, song, it would sound pretty cool in my ear. Here, yeah, I'm so. not singing. <laughs> it's a five-point ball game as Woods makes one of two. Yellville throws it in. It's 28-23, and this is a pretty evenly matched game. You know, compared to how it started, it, it absolutely is. Two-point shots up and good. By number 10, Sutterfield. Well, I know Sutterfield's mama's going to be happy. She was one of the moms that cornered me and said, you need to film this game. So, And I think his grandma said she's watching online, Dahl Walmer. So shout out to Dahl. 22 with a shot up, no good. Number 12 with the rebound, Cheek. Cheek's, Cheeks going for a layup, puts it up, no good. Charging foul. A charging foul? Blocking foul. What is that? Yeah, blocking foul. Blocking so foul. Cheek trying to go coast to coast, but he is fouled. Let's see, they call that on number 10. That's, That's on Jackson. Fourth. So one more and he will be out of the game. As uh, Cheek goes to the line. First shot's no good. Back in the ball game for the Warriors is number two, Prime. Bob's doing a tremendous job because the problem is he's having to read my handwriting. Second shot's up and good for Cheek. He's one of two. So if any names are mispronounced, it's because my writing's so bad. <laughs> and he walks. Number two walks with the basketball, turns it over to Yellville. 18.9 seconds left in the third quarter. It's an eight-point ball game in favor of the Yellville Summit Panthers. It was good help defense on that play. Yellville's probably going to hold for the last shot here. Under 10 seconds. Cheek slices, dices. The little runner. Puts it up and puts it in. It's a 10-point ball game at the end of the third quarter. Yellville Summit Panthers 33, Carter Warriors 23. So you, Cotter got back within six, but a little run right there it's to finish out the third. And we're getting ready to go in the fourth, but this is going to be a good one right here in TLSN, guys. We'll be right back. It is really important to do business with people that are local. 
One of the things that we did upon acquiring all the stores was we tried to hold on to everybody that was already working here. You can't replace experience. We build relationships, we don't build the cars. The same customers that are buying from us today were buying from us five years ago and 10 years ago. And those are the same customers that I want to take care of today in five years and 10 years from now. Shop Clay Maxi Chevrolet in Mountain Home and ClayMaxiChevrolet.com. It'll be fun. See how it goes. All right, we're back here. We'll see how this goes here in the fourth. Right Six now. minutes left here. It's a 10-point ball game in favor of the visiting Yaleville Summit Panthers. Cotter trying to get something going on offense as they've kind of gone cold from the floor in the last couple minutes. They got it as close as six. Down low to Guthrie. There's going to be a foul on the play. Fouls on number 33, right. Oh, I'm sorry. They called it on three. Morrow. This one rattles around and goes down. We got uh, Justin Crane, Coach Crane. He said, sound is good. Let's go Panthers. So, Coach Crane. Yeah, he, Coach Crane, he likes slobber knockers, and this is a slobber knocker right here tonight. His cheek lost control of the ball out of bounds. So Cotter now down nine. See if they can start chipping away at this lead. Coach Crane, we need you to come in to Mountain Home with Coach Jones on a Friday morning so we can talk a little bit of Panther football on XL7 Sports. Warriors down nine, trying to climb back into it. Of course, no shot clock here in junior high, so a little different than what we see on the high school game now, or senior high. Woods puts it up with a little jumper, goes in for two. Timeout, Cotter. It's a seven-point ball game with four minutes, 58 seconds left in the game. Yeah, head coach Jackson uh, uh, Reigns wants to talk it over with his squad real quick. Real quick, Bob, you mentioned XL7 Sports. Now go ahead and share a little bit about XL7 Sports for those fans out there. XL7 Sports is homed at XL7 TV in Mountain Home. It was designed, the Facebook page was designed to uh, give some attention to not just Mountain Home Sports, but to all area sports. Cotter, Flippin, Yelva, Norfolk, Bergman, all the way down to Calico Rock, even Mountain View. I've had some folks from Mountain View come up on the show. I do a Monday morning sports update, and then I have Coach Jones, athletic director from Yaleville Summit, will come over. We'll talk all things Yaleville sports. On Friday afternoon, it's whatever's going on with Mountain Home Bombers, but if we can get an athletic director from another school that's interested in coming over and visiting with us, just give me a call at 870-404-2438. Be glad to get you on the Monday morning show. You're a courageous man. I won't give my phone It's the first time I've ever done it, David. <laughs> I know. You start getting a bunch of crank calls. <laughs> Can't be no worse than those robo calls. That's true. That is true. Now, XL7 Sports is designed just to give attention to the, the student athletes of the area. And uh, we do bomber football, of course, bomber basketball, uh, because you guys do a wonderful job with all the smaller schools in the area. So uh, we'll leave that up to the professionals, and we'll just try our luck at the big games. Well, and I appreciate you coming and helping me out. Uh, the deal maker couldn't be here tonight, so I was flying, flying solo, and I text Bob. I was like, "Hey, maybe Bob, if he doesn't have a game, would come out and do one." Because I figured these would be some pretty good ones here tonight. You bet. I like watching these smaller schools. Uh, what I really like is seeing these big crowds that come out to support these student athletes. Yeah, we got a good crowd filling up right now. This place is a. Uh, and, and Bob will actually be back here. District tournament this year will be held in Cotter for senior high. And we're going to be broadcasting that, so uh, this place is going to be rocking through the end of February. 
a seven point ball game with a little, over, little under 430 left to go. Dumps it off low to 34, puts it over to two. Shots up, no good. Prime shots, no good. But Woods, the shot is in and good. Five point ball game with 413 left. Nice no good shots, no good. Spence. Of course, here they can work some clock since there's no shot clock. There's not a, a quite as much urgency as in the senior high game. Cheek misses it. Here comes the Warriors. Milton with the basketball, punches it off to Woods. Woods dumps it off to number one, Zeltner. Back to Woods. That was a tough runner to try to hit there. Good position there, draws the foul. Fouls on number two, Prime. That's his fourth in the ball game for Cotter's number 10, Isaiah Jackson. So Jackson and Prime now both with four fouls each, Bob. Number 11, shots up and good. That's Spence for a three-pointer. Eight-point ball game, 2.55 left. Makes the long throw to 22, layup in and good. That's Milton's shot is good. Bob, right now it's a two-possession game. With 2.39 left. Both teams, too, only with one foul each here in the second half, so they won't be able to really foul to stop the clock. Cotter's got a little bit too much hesitation right now. When they get that ball in, they need to be sending it down to the court. Yellville's basketball number 11 is going to be throwing it in. That's Spence. Spence throws it in. Cheek comes up with it. They're going to play stall just a little bit, I bet, David. Like you said, two possession ball games, a six-point lead by Yellville Summit Panthers. That is one thing I do like about the shot clock in senior high is that you have to keep playing offense. You can't just sit there and milk the clock. Lady Bombers went up and played in the tournament in Springfield. They played Kickapoo. Well, they don't have a three, uh, 25. They don't have a shot clock uh, in Missouri. And Del Leonard said you could really tell the difference. Nice play by Guthrie. 22 shots up and good. That's Milton. It's a four-point ball game. 144 left to go. Well, Bob, you talked about that bomber comeback. That comeback don't happen with a shot clock. You know? No, it don't. They're able to just hold it and hold it. Timeout, Yellville Summit Panthers. 131 left in the ball game. It's a four point game. We'll be back in the flash here on TLSN.
Yellville Summit throws it in. That's number two. There's going to be a foul on the play. Foul's on number 10. That's his fifth. He's out of there. So Jackson fouls out. That's just the second foul on Cotter, Bob. So we might have quite a few fouls here in the next uh, probably 20 seconds. If that's going to be the strategy from Cotter is try to force Yellville to hit some free throws. And they might have to do that just to get the ball back as well. So They're down to 127. A little delay on getting the clock started. Yellville's trying to play a little stall ball, but I don't believe the Panthers are going to let or the Warriors are going to let them. Potter gets a timeout. They get the timeout. They keep the possession. 109 left in the ball game. Well, Bob, things getting a little interesting here in Cotter now. Coaches are getting a little excited down there. 36-32. Yeah, we'll be back in a minute here on TLSN. Some of our biggest audiences come from Yelby. Yep. Yeah, they do. Here we go, Bob. 109 to go. Cotter's got the ball. Two possession game. Four, four point game. Number 10, Isaiah Jackson fouled out of the ball game. Three point shots up and no good. Rebound, Cotter. As they call Cotter with the Backcourt violation. Guthrie, though, with the hustle, trying to make the save. And I apologize, fans. You're probably like, you're too, I'm too slow of a cameraman. I missed part of that. <laughs> but Yellville now has it. There's a steal on the play by Zeltner. Er. Oh, and a big slam by number 12. Oh, and he's going to get called for the foul. Foul said, on Cheek. I think I said Zeltner, but that's actually Milton. Foul on number 12, Cheek. That's his third. Going to the line is number 22, Milton. Well, now chance to get it back to a one possession game under a minute to go. As Cotter just with a great effort here in the second half has fought back in this bonus coverage game. Second shot is good. I think they're going to call Guthrie with a foul. The bucket counts, but they call Guthrie with the push. Green ball. 47 seconds left in the ball game. That's going to be Guthrie's fourth as well. Looks like Coach Hunter Sims, he wants to talk this over with his Yellville Summit Panther squad. 47.2 seconds left. It's a three-point ball game. We'll be back in a minute here until it's in. It is really important to do business with people that are local. One of the things that we did upon acquiring all the stores was we tried to hold on to everybody that was already working here. You can't replace experience. We build relationships, we don't build the cars. The same customers that are buying from us today were buying from us five years ago and 10 years ago. And those are the same customers that I want to take care of today in five years and 10 years from now. Shop Clay Maxi Chevrolet in Mountain Home and ClayMaxiChevrolet.com.
All right, Bob, back to action on the floor. 47.2 seconds to go. Cotter putting on the pressure. Cotter, Yevo's gonna have to hurry to get it across court. They just beat the count, Bob. Foul on number three, that's his second foul. 36, seven, 36 seconds left. That was a power slam on number 34. Yeah, and that's probably gonna be number five I think that's on number Guthrie. five for him. And Cotter hates to lose him. Guthrie has had a big game, but that is number five on Guthrie. Good game by Guthrie. Looked like a WWE shot there. Yeah, that was like some of that Mid-States wrestling stuff I've been calling, so. Which I gotta give a shout out on that. They just got signed to a TV deal. So, uh, Mid-States wrestling's gonna be going all across Arkansas, Kansas, Missouri, and uh, yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more of that on our uh, TLSA. Are you part of that? Yeah, I'm the loose cannon over there. Uh, I do the, do the uh, commentary. Shop at number 12 is up and no good for Cheek. Still a three-point game with 36 seconds left. If she can hit this one, it's back to a two-possession game. Not going to be good. Rebound, Warriors. That's number two with the basketball. Prime with the layup. Healing good. It's a one-point ball game. Cotter calls a timeout with 29.8 seconds left. Well, this was a bonus game we're picking up. I'm glad we picked it up because this is a great game. Cotter at one time, they were down 14 points in the first half, but have just battled back, battled back. They've had a couple of their players that have fouled out, but uh, you know their bench has really stepped up in this game, Bob, and made some big plays. And now we got a one possession game. Anything can happen here. Online, and we'll catch up on a couple comments. We got Michelle Faso saying, let's go, Cotter. Laura England says, go, Panthers. Lalo Gomez, I know you're a big fan of TLSN. We can't see what you said, but uh, feel free to comment. We'd love to see it, your comment. I think Lalo, I think he's a big Cotter fan, but I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, Lalo. And, of course, uh, Coach Crane, appreciate him being our sound man for us, saying, let's go, Panthers. So who's going to win this game, guys? Uh, Everyone online, this is an interactive broadcast. Let's see in the comment below. Let us know who's going to win this last little bit and who's going to come out with the victory. With 29 seconds left to go, 29.8 to be exact left to go. It's a one-point ball game in favor of the Yellville Summit Panthers. Well, Yellville has possession. Right now, five fouls, so Cotter still has to commit two fouls before free throws. But this pressure defense from Cotter has made the difference as they have climbed back into this game. And that might be number five on, on Prine. Let's see. I believe it is. That's number five on Prine, so he's out of the ball game. That's three Warriors put to the bench due to fouls. And that was someone you probably didn't want going to the bench right now as he has played really good here in the second half. As Spence. Spence goes to the line with 27.4 left. It's a one point ball game. So Spence getting two shots here. And nothing but net. Two-point game, 37-35 in favor of Yellville Summit. And he misses this, then Cotter will have a chance to possibly take the lead. That one's no good. Rebound Cotter. 25 seconds left. They can tie it up right here. Timeout, Cotter. Yeah, I think Coach Jackson Reigns of Cotter, he wants to talk that over. So now the strategy, do you play, try to get a two bucket, two point for the tie, or do you try to set something up for a three point shot and win it? Well, tying's kind of like kissing your sister. You really want to go for a win. Is this a conference game for junior high? Yeah, this would be, yeah, these are conference rivals, so this is a conference matchup. I think you try to go for a tie. 
So Coach Jackson Reigns, we'll see what he's playing. And of course, what would you do? What would David do? I would always, I say you got to play for the win. You, you win or go home. Let's set something up. But uh, that's why they're paying these coaches the big bucks. So let, we'll let them make those decisions. So, But we'll go to the check. These guys are quiet. I think maybe they're enthralled by the game. Or it could be our internet was a little slow connecting there. So we'll probably have a bunch of comments pop in. But... Let us know who you guys are cheering for. Also, reach down, hit that share button, or tag in a family member. Maybe there's a relative that said, hey, oh, I didn't know you guys were broadcasting junior high. Uh, this is their chance to watch it. This, uh, more importantly, too, Bob, on the timeouts, this is Cotter's last timeout. So, uh, Yellville still has one. So, that's... That's going to play a role, yeah. more than likely, the way this game's been. It's yes. a two-point ball game, 20 seconds left. Cotter's got to throw it in. Especially inbounding it, but looks like Yellow's going to let him inbound it to set it up. Foul. Foul on number 12, Cheek. He's fouled That's on Cheek's the floor. Fourth. So no free throws coming. Cotter's going to get to inbound it. Woods with the basketball, trying to get it out. Number 22 with it. Down low underneath. Goes for the tie. No good. <laughs> Foul on number five, Connor Woods. Well, it looks like Cheek hit the floor hard. He's, he's getting up. Looks like he's okay. And Cotter had a good look there to tie the game up. And just a little strong off the glass. And now with seven tenths of a second, they can't call timeout. So if he misses, you know, if he makes both of them, game's over. And he makes the first one. If he misses this one, Cotter will have a chance at a last second heave to tie it. You don't want to foul shooting a three-point attempt, though, as well. But it's that's for, the nail. Yeah, it's for not. It's for not there. And that's going to wrap that up. It's 39 for Yellville Summit Panthers and 35 for the Cotter Warriors. Yeah, great bonus coverage game here. So we're going to actually, in a minute or two, we're going to end this stream, guys. And what we'll do is I'll start up a new stream that will be titled senior high girls game, but we'll be back in about three minutes here on TLSN for some senior high girls basketball action.